Hey, Dr. Ben here. So, just come ac came across a really interesting article that postulates that ADHD, adult attention <laughs> deficit hyperactivity disorder, may be a precursor to fibromyalgia. And uh, I had never heard this before, so I read the article and I thought, hmm, you know, well, it'd be worth checking out. It sounds absurd, but, you know, I've seen crazier things in my life, so why not read it? And it's actually very interesting. Um, so now there is a blood test that uh, they can test for certain uh, markers in your blood to see if you have fibromyalgia. And what's interesting is that the lab that did this noticed that 80% of people who tested positive for fibromyalgia through their test also had been previously diagnosed with ADHD. So it shows that there's definitely a correlation. Now, whether it's a sequela, there's the cause and effect is, you know, you'd have to do a lot of studies to show that. But it's interesting that essentially, like, um, difficulty concentrating, difficulty coming up with words, having um, trouble with attention span are symptoms of both ADHD and fibromyalgia. And so that um, initially uh, fibromyalgia may start as ADHD and progress to full-blown fibromyalgia, which is this, you know, pain, autoimmune, unexplained idiopathic condition. And so typically, the typical Western treatment for ADHD is to essentially put kids on amphetamines, which is legalized speed, uh, or methamphetamines, um, crystal meth. Not crystal meth, just meth in a different form. And obviously, no, there are plenty of problems with meth. It's addictive, it's toxic. Um, it doesn't really treat the root cause of the, the problem, which is inflammation and dysfunction in the nervous system. And so there are ways of treating that, whether it is ADHD or it is fibromyalgia. And so I wanted to guy, offer you guys a different solution, that if we can address the inflammation going on with the fibromyalgia, if we can address the dysfunction going on in the nervous system directly, the root cause of it, as opposed to just covering it up with drugs, that address the symptoms, don't treat the root cause, maybe we might actually be able to get people well. In fact, we've, we've done it, we've seen this. So I created a new guide, it's called the Autoimmune Recovery Blueprint. It shows you how to reduce the stress in your nervous system, bring down the inflammation, these things that are the root causes behind fibromyalgia, and maybe actually to actually reverse the disease in many cases. So, um, or at least see a great deal of improvement. So the guide's free when you sign up for my email list. I'll put a link down below. You can download it. Got a lot of free good info on there. If you want more information on fibromyalgia, other autoimmune conditions, other chronic disease conditions, and how to heal from them uh, for real, and not just suppress the symptoms like absolutely treat the root cause, subscribe to this channel. Got a lot more stuff coming. Really enjoy making these videos. I will catch you guys next time. I want to share with you the Autoimmune Recovery Blueprint. It's a culmination of everything I've learned about healing from autoimmune disease over the past eight years condensed down into an 11-page blueprint. It's what I wish I'd had eight years ago when I first got sick and had to figure everything out on my own. Yours free when you sign up for my email list. Just click the link below.